Hello, and welcome to The Lion Show. My name is Robert Lyon. Today, we're going to be talking about cold email, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know so that your emails can basically not go to the spam, and you can basically set up these email accounts uh, from nothing and have them up and rolling uh, as quickly as possible. So, cold email. It's like cavemen or <laughs> something of marketing. But it's so dope, and it works still, and it's amazing, uh, and you can make a lot of money. I mean, the thing you're going to have to spend money on uh, is basically the domains and the CRMs and the leads, which I guess is quite a bit. But once you get this thing up and rolling, the amount of people you can reach out to uh, is endless. You, you can cold, cold email on and on and on and on, uh, and it really just comes down to you writing really good copy, have an amazing offer, and then have the right leads, okay? But it all starts here. It all starts by getting it so your your email basically set up to go nuts and, and be able to blast out and, and really take over. So the main thing that we're going to be talking about today um, is how to start these uh, email accounts so that you don't go to the spam and so that you don't basically just blow out your domain. Okay, this is really important and nobody tells you this. Um, and you you basically have to learn through trial and fire. I, I've definitely destroyed um, some domains because I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm basically just going to tell you um, what it is that we do. And, and then basically that's for the podcast and stuff like that. And then I'm going to go make a whole video and we're going to basically get right into it. I'm going to show you exactly how you do this. So the first thing that you do um, is you buy a domain, right? So your domain is just going to be like, um, so we're, we're starting a recruiting company and our recruiting company is called Reliable Hires, right? So we own ReliableHires.com. Um, I just bought ReliableHires.org, okay? And that's going to be the domain that I'm going to use to cold email to start getting recruitment clients and, and, and hires and stuff like that. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up um, your G Suite. So we're basically buying all of our domains through Google. Uh, then we're going to be using G Suite or G Suite, whatever the hell it is. Um, and you're going to make that look really good. You're going to add a picture. You're going to want to put as much information as you can so that you look as, as you know real as possible. Okay. Then you're going to make a signature. And in your signature, same thing. You just want to you know, say who you are, your founder, name of your company, your address, your your email, your phone number, okay? And you just want it to look as legit as humanly possible, all right? Then you have to set up something called a, a DMARC. I think if you're with Google, it's already in there, uh, but if you're not using Google, you got to set that up. Otherwise, you'll basically go to spam. Um, and then the next thing you got to do is basically just warm up your email, right? Warm up your inbox, uh, we're going to show you how to do that. You basically just go to warminbox.com. I have an affiliate link down below. And essentially, you're just going to basically let them run. And, and usually it takes about two weeks. So if you're planning a, a cold email campaign, you got to get started today so that you can basically be blasting you know, up to 60 emails a day uh, per domain or more um, from in like 14 days. And like 60 is safe if you're going to send it from Gmail. If you're going to set it up with like a CRM, the way that you do it is you basically test your email every day, right? You're going to test it. You're going to see, hey, are my emails going to spam? Uh, is it safe? And I'll show you those websites as well. Uh, but that's pretty much what you need to do. So the main thing I'm trying to teach you is how to not go to the spam, okay? that That's pretty much the whole gist of it. So that you can consistently have free outreach as free as it is it's not not totally free but it's pretty damn cheap compared to most marketing channels um and then in another video i'll show you guys how to scrape leads uh, so that you can start sending out your offer um and really getting getting nuts with it but i mean that's pretty much the gist of it so let's hop right into it and i'm gonna show you guys how to do this so i buy uh all my stuff through google pretty much i mean not stuff i buy domains through google um, and I think I'm going to buy this one right here. So like I said, we're, we're creating a recruiting company. Uh, let me just make sure it's spelled right. And I need a healthcare one. So I'm just going to add this to healthcare reliable hires. Okay. First thing we're going to do is basically just set up the G Suite. Okay, so I'm going to get a workplace. Fill this out. I could make it just say info. Cool. 
Well, we're just going to do the $6. And yeah, you got to pay for it. So that was part of the expenses I was, I was telling you guys about. All right, boom. So now we have a, a domain and we have a work email from that domain. Um, and now we basically just need to customize this bad boy so that um, it's legit, basically. And we're just going to wait for this. So I'm going to pause this. All right, let me take a second. Um, let me think. Okay, so I, I'm only going to set myself up for this one, but on my other one, I added, you know, my other coworkers and stuff like that, which I don't know if that's good or not, but who knows. As soon as you buy the email, Google sends you a, 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 a temporary password. Temp password. Healthcare reliable hires. Um, it doesn't have like. This is just going to be um, for sending out to medical companies. So I just kind of, I wanted to have it in there um, just for my own thing. And then you're going to create a new password. Let's just set up a signature and then we'll add the picture. So set up a signature. Basically go to settings, signature, create new, signature's name. Right, but this is what I want the signature to be. Founder, reliable hires. Hmm. I don't think I need to put healthcare. And like I know you, you you know the reason we're making this so thorough is because we want to look as real as possible. Founder have that little thing going on, you know what I'm talking about. All right, and then uh, we'll just do mobile fancy little link thing for our phone numbers that I freaking always forget. So it's tell little things and then you just do the number. And you don't have to put your phone number on there. Email, put our website. But I mean, this is all you got to do. You don't got to make you know a bunch of pictures or nothing to. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then you got to make sure you save it. Save. Cool. All right, we set up our signature. Uh, now we're going to set up um, our actual profile. So you go into this little thing. You click admin. Users. This is what I wanted to, I wanted to add a picture here. <clears throat> um, I don't have a picture like ready to go. Boom. We added the picture. I mean, that's pretty much it. You could add your phone number if you wanted to. Um, eventually, once I do add like a, a Google Maps to my business, I'm going to add the same addresses to all of these. Uh, that was the main thing I wanted to do is just add a picture um, home. And then now, like, you know, when you're logged into it, um, I should show my little stupid face over here now. Boom, it's me. Um, I want to forward this website to myself. So let's see, where can I do that? Here we go. So when we go to websites, <clears throat> I want to forward the domain to my, that way I have a real um, website whenever people look to it. And it makes me feel a little better. Uh, but that's pretty much it, just to get this thing rolling. So there's two things that you can do now. Right now that we have this website, uh, you can sign up for like 10 um, or like 20. This is the free way. So you, you can sign up for like 20 different newsletters because now that you have your email set up, like if we want to start spamming, it would look really suspect if we just started like blasting people and it would just go automatically to spam. Instead, what you want is you want to have a lot of in and out of, of your, in your inbox. So basically what you do next um, is we have to set this thing up. So we're going to, um, you go to app.warmupinbox.com. I got the affiliate link down below. Um, I'm going to add, well, I'm, I think I'm going to add my old one first. And basically it takes about two weeks to get this thing going. But here, let's just, let's go to billing firm. And we'll have two of these bad boys warming up. All right, this is the stupid things you have to do basically to get this thing rolling. First thing we gotta do, and then you literally just click these things and you just gotta log into your new email. So like we don't wanna log into this one, we're gonna log into Robert.healthcare Reliable Hires. Okay. Got it. Um, allow here. Next thing I gotta do is click this thing. Um, what do I click? When I go down to this thing, boom, click that, 
save. I'm gonna go down, click this, log in again, and on, back to the website or the email. Go to settings, thing, IMAP. Enable IMAP changes and we're done. All right. So basically, and then it says, wait, wait an hour. Okay. So then you wait an hour um, and it'll start warming up your inbox. Oh, let's make sure I save this and you just got to wait basically 14 days. So now that that's all set up, um, I'm going to be able to start scavenging for leads and finding emails. I'll show you guys how to do that in the next video. Uh, but this is basically how you set up your domains. And then you can basically send, you know, 50 emails a day, you know, 3,000 emails a month, uh, 1,500 emails a year for free. Uh, to cold emails, to prospects, you know, and, and that's 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 the safe side. You can, you can go way more. People people send, you know, 2,500 a month and, and, or a day, sorry, and then like, the way that you can do that um, is you can actually check the how like legit your email is. So um, we can check this out real quick once. Now, obviously, this is for later down the road, um, but you can go to MX what is it, Toolbox Toolbox, and basically every day you can check your domain and see you know is it passing. Um, you can look up your email, see what's going on. Oops. So we got to check out the DMARC record found. No DMARC record found. Um, so these are things you got to fix, basically. But this is how you can start sending tons and tons of emails. Uh, you got to basically come in here and you got to check um, the health of your of your domain so that you know every day. And this one's good, but this one I think is better, actually. Um, what is it? mail tester so you go to google come here and basically you would take this email send it to yourself and be able to check your score um and, and you'll be able to really start getting crazy with it so test test the spamminess of your email um you take this you email it to yourself and then it's going to tell you it's going to basically give you like a check it's gonna be crap but whatever so to this test anyways and then i'm just gonna send it let's see what it says score time <laughs> got a little rowboat thing <laughs> <laughs> nice so i mean i haven't i haven't ruined the spam so it's not not fully authenticated uh i'm listed in one blacklist sorbs so i don't know what that is what the fuck is sorbs anyways so this is how you can check though so, uh, like, when when I have a score like this, like, that's pretty good. So, I'm just going to basically be able to do stuff, but this, is, this isn't ready. This is when you're, when you're done warming up your email, okay? So, once your email is warm, you can send as many cold emails as you really want per day. You just have to, before you send everything, you really just want to test your, your thing. And if you start to see uh, that you're going to spam or you're not getting any replies, you're going to want to check your domain and, and see what's going on and maybe dial it back. I mean, the main reasons you go to spam is, like, you know, links are, are sketchy. You use the wrong words. You get reported because you're sending the wrong kind of messaging to the wrong kind of people and they just spam you and, and things like that. And that's how you basically are able to get this ball rolling. All right. I hope this video was helpful uh, to somebody out there. I hope you guys make a bunch of money doing a bunch of marketing. I mean, this is just amazing. I'm at, this is for you know, e-commerce, inf information businesses, uh, B2B businesses. It just goes on and on and on. You can literally like start to reach out to your, your prospects and start testing, you know, right away. I mean, obviously it takes 14 days for the thing to start really rolling. That's what the warm up. that's what they say is like 14 days of emails flying in and out or whatever using that warm up toolbox. But after 14 days, you're going to want to start by doing, you know, five emails per day. Then the next week, 10 emails per day. Next week, 20 emails per day. Next week, 40 emails per day. Then 50 emails per day, 60 emails a day. And you're just going to stack it up, but you're going to be reaching out to your prospects. You're going to be testing different copy. You're going to be really letting it, like, making it happen. And you're going to start getting sales. And it's not going to basically be dependent on, you know, Facebook or making content. And then you can basically get a CRM and you can set it up so that 
once your email is all warmed up, you can have a drip campaign built, right? So you basically go out there, you scrape new emails, you put them in there, and it just automatically sends day one, this is an email. Day two, this is an email. Day three, this is an email. Give them a little bit of break. Day four, this is an email. And you basically put them through your filler, and you're basically out there, and your emails are not going to spam. They're going directly to your ideal prospects, uh, pitching them your offer, getting in front of them, and you're able to make a lot of money. All right, so... That was uh, the first little bit of cold emailing. I'll make another video on how to scrape leads and stuff like that. Um, but this is just getting the ball rolling. And the more of these you do, the more cold emails you can send safely every day, the more prospects you can get of it in front of uh, for free. And this is just one cool tool in your tool belt to really grow your business. Be sure to like and subscribe. And use my affiliate link if you're going to sign up for the warm-up tool. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then share this with people. And yeah, let's grow. Let's build. Peace.